Hey there everyone, GamerLSK here and uh, I'm back with the game Skyforce Anniversary Edition and uh, I want to show you guys some cool things about this game um, last time I did just a quick review but this time I'll just do an overview and uh, we'll show you a little bit of more what is in store for this game so uh, we have cards over here which you get uh, by breaking down crates so these cards well um, as you can see they provide passive uh, upgrades um, and uh, um, just basically speaking um, as you guys can see I have upgraded the ship a lot and uh, a point to be noted that laser energy shield and mega bombs well these three have to be refilled before the start of any level that is um, for every single charge of laser you have to spend some of the stars that you have collected um, you cannot uh, regenerate them uh, during the game but uh, at times when you break a crate or something uh, you can get uh, either a laser upgrade or a shield upgrade or a mega bomb upgrade but it depends what you have selected from the beginning of the game that is you can select either this this or this not all the three of them so it's kind of bummer I bought this laser for 1000 stars and then upgraded it but I'm not actually using it because I'll be focusing on these parts uh, missiles magnet wing cannons main cannon and health so let me upgrade okay so these when you upgrade well they help out a lot rather than um, the lasers and stuff but also, um, since I bought the laser, I, there are chances that I might just get it. So, uh, in normal, when you complete a game, uh, you get uh, just normal, little bit of stars and 5x points. But after you complete a normal, that is um, all the four objectives, you unlock hard, in which you get twice the amount of stars that you used to get in the normal mode and double the amount of point as well but when you complete hard which is actually hard to complete you unlock insane I don't know if there is something else other than this but um, until now this is what I've unlocked and insane gives you three times the star that you used to get in this that is in level one in normal I used to get far around 150 stars but in insane I get around 500 stars so that's the basic gist of it um, I have been playing uh, the level 1 and 2 like crazy now um, and uh, I tried something funny that is 2 player more let me just show you so um, when you press space uh, another purple ship appears and as you guys can see, either energy shield or laser or mega bomb. So laser, you can see it asks for 100 stars and I have 95 stars. So nothing's possible. Let's just begin our game and uh, I'll show you guys uh, how this is done and stuff. Okay, 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 my bad, my bad, yeah. Okay, now that's done. Nice, nice. Uh, Weapon upgrade. Uh, the demerit of this particular mode is um, when you play yourself, when you play by yourself, um, it's really hard to know which place you're supposed to go and which place you're not supposed to go. I'm kind of playing this in easy because uh, it really takes a lot out of your brain and uh, good, good, good. Uh, if you have a brother or someone, well, um, this game becomes more fun because, uh, well, okay, um, so yeah, I mean, weapon upgrade. It's not something exactly what you should try doing while you're playing games. I mean, 
It's more of a drag rather than playing the game itself. Great, great, great. I mean, what you're doing right now is just crazy. Crazy. So weapon This is pure insanity. I mean, a level for this ship is halfway upgraded, and I'm playing in the first level, so that's not fair at all. That's absolutely not fair. Human but what can we do? So. You guys just saw that I got laser now. I don't need laser in this level particularly because... Uh, but still, I'll just use it. So that's that, um, it keeps on firing, the secondary ship just keeps on firing like a maniac and uh, second, uh, the secondary ship is uh, controlled via keyboard so yeah, I mean it's really fun to play with that way but um, I just did it for fun, I mean I seriously wouldn't recommend playing games like that especially a game like this but if you have another uh, brother or sister who likes to play games just well just hand them the keyboard or hand them the control and you take the other one and well you guys can just smoke this guy so that was an overview of some additional features that are available in Skyforce anniversary edition um, if you have high spec PC or laptop I'll strongly suggest to play this game at 1080p with the max settings and of course music and sound to the max. It might damage your ears I admit but at times playing games the way they are supposed to be played that is just how games are supposed to be played. I don't know what the hell that, that means but that's it. Gamers is signing out. Keep on gaming. I hope you guys enjoy all the posts that I upload. See ya.